Hey guys, what's up? I just wanted to show you quickly how I make keychains. So first things first, I just clean my mold with 70% alcohol. Um, I don't really worry about the outside of the mold too much unless it's going to like ruin the keychain. Uh, so you could see the outside is pretty dirty, but I do make sure that the insides here are clean. And just using alcohol and a q-tip, that's how I keep them clean. So I already mixed up my resin here, and I mixed up a ton because I'm honestly doing a ton of other projects in the meantime. Uh, but all I do for, you know, my keychains is kind of whatever really the person wants. So this one is going to be black and white. So all I do is fill it up almost to the top with clear resin because we will be using uh, kind of like an alcohol ink in it. So I just make sure that, you know, it's almost to the top. I don't want to overflow it at this point because I do know my ink will take up a little bit of room. So once I get that in there, I just kind of let it sit. The air bubbles will come out by themselves. Uh, just using a little bit of confetti today. And with this confetti, it's just like these little mirror silver hearts. And I just kind of drop them in wherever. And I don't want to use too much because I do want you to be able to see the black and white that I'm going to use in the background. Um, but I'm just taking a bunch, kind of sprinkling them around and just kind of, you know, letting them go wherever they please. So now next thing I just do is I take a toothpick and I'm just gonna push them all down. So I'm not pushing them completely down, I'm just making sure that they're in the resin because I do want these to kind of be all at different heights and stuff like that. I want it to have more depth to the keychain rather than just like, here's some silver hearts in the front. So I'm just taking my time, moving them around, kind of breaking them up because they do kind of stick to each other since, you know, just little confetti pieces. Uh, so just breaking them apart, moving them around here. And I don't know if you noticed or not, but my mold is backwards. So I am working from the back side here. So whatever I do uh, first will be obviously the front of the keychain. So that's why I'm doing the hearts now. And then I'm going to do the color next because... Again, like I said, we're working backwards. You can buy these molds um, just normal, and honestly, I don't like that because the back side, like this, what you're looking at now, would be the top. And sometimes I don't like the finish that it gives off because that actual molded side gives a way better finish. So I recommend getting the flipped ones if you're going to do this. Uh, so like I said, we're just going to be using some alcohol inks. I got these off of Amazon, and I'm just using normal black and normal white and this is so much fun look at this watch look at that it just explodes in there it is the coolest freaking thing like look oh and i dropped some oh no um i'll clean that up where's a q-tip um here we go so just gonna you know soak up that quick here because i my mold's a little messy but i don't you know need to leave a big old black spot sitting there so <laughs> These alcohol inks kind of explode as I use them. So I got black in, now we are going to put in some white, and this is where it gets really cool. Look at that. It just like explodes. It's almost like fireworks in there. Look at that. It just, uh, I swear, I'm going to say look at that a million times in this video. <laughs> But just dropping them in, I do want to make sure that it's very opaque in the back. I don't want, you know, any clear spots. Uh, so I am using a lot. But if you just watch how it changes, it just keeps doing this, like, really cool ripple effect. And it'll kind of stay that way, too, after, you know, it's all cured. The front will have a very cool sort of texture that you'll see down in there that's, like, bumpy yet ripply. I don't know how to explain it, but <laughs> pretty much... I think that's all really that I do with this one. I don't think I want to add any more. So we are just going to let it dry and do the next step. So I did let these sit overnight. Um, I went to work, did some things, and now it's the next day. And we are going to unmold it now. So as you can see, it still kind of kept that cool exploding effect. It didn't mix or anything. Uh, you have to be careful with the black sometimes because it will overtake but here we go look at it this is so cool oh my gosh this turned out so cool look at that and the hearts are all kind of at different levels still oops there's a little string on top just take that off uh but oh my gosh this is so beautiful so here is um some more little extras uh here's a little k these are just some rose petals from um one of the mechanics 
he gave me them at work and because he's got roses in his yard so I made little rose petals in gold leaf and they're super cool so there's some extras so this is how I finish up my keychains um so here we have the piece and you know it looks really good on both sides so I have this little drill here just a little super tiny dremel really it's, um not battery powered you charge it but I'm just going to turn that on low and we're just going to drill a hole straight in the top here. I'm not going to go in too deep just like that. Of course, the hearts kind of hide it so you can't really see it in there. And then I have these little eye hooks. We're just going to do a silver one. Just going to get that out. They're super small. And we're just going to put it in the hole there. Twist it in. Super easy. So again, luckily that heart blocks it there that you can't see it. All dust and stuff. And then I've got these keychain pieces. I got 30 of them from Amazon, so there's a whole bunch of silver and gold. We are just going to use this guy. Some pliers. on my finger and then there we go now you have yourself a cute little keychain so yeah here we go i have it hanging outside for some final pictures before it goes back to the states and i just i'm obsessed with how this turned out it's definitely super cool so if you guys have any questions or comments be sure to leave them down below i really enjoy reading everything that everyone has to say so yeah Thank you so much for your support and watching. Bye!